Good morning guys. Uh, it's another beautiful spring day. I'm just punishing my family today. Dragging them up these hills. Today, one more way to Buckstone's Jump. One of the easiest and most accessible out here. Good little starter wild swimming spots in the UK. It's certainly the first one that I ever went to. Beautiful warm water like it is in the whole Lake District. <laughs> Being sarcastic. It's gonna be like Arctic ice water today, but I'm gonna be trying out my wetsuit for the first time. Cause I know last spring that I went swimming in the lakes. Whew. Talk about ice cream head. So yeah, today I'm gonna to be taking these along with us the whole way so I can show you the route. I've also linked my Strava. You'll be able to see my uh, GPS that I've been using on me little hiking watch I've got down here. So I'll catch you later on. Once we get the water and we'll see if I'm brave enough to get in there. We're family of five and I've got a 12 and eight and a six year old. If you want more easily accessible, nice little family hikes and family wild swims in the Lake District UK, subscribe and follow for more. And don't forget to hit that like button. See you guys later. So we're starting off through rail campsite today. I'm gonna drop in shot by shot throughout the entire video, show you the whole entire way there. It, this is a nice little short hike, two to three mile, easily accessible to the full family. Let's jump right in. See there's like a little dam thing down here. So when you reach this, you know you're going the right way. From here you pretty much follow the river the best you can. Just stick to a path. When you get the dam, just follow the little wall along until you see this jump over point. <laughs> and then the path's just right up there. See the little ledges down here? That's it, stick your feet on there. Oh, keep this out your way. Get underneath. So watch your head. New next bell. Now, the next bit is pretty boggy, so I can see a path off in the distance, a proper hiking trail, so I'm just, at, at this point, I'm trying to pick the best, the best place as, as least boggy as possible to get it, so I don't get stuck in the mud. <laughs> Finally, dry land. This is what the hiking trail looks like. So we've just come from over there. We just had to walk through that bog to get to this nice little trail. I mean, What's your shoes in my it's still a pretty boggy trail, most of the way up to Buckstones, mainly because it's just been raining the last few days, but uh, far better than walking through that. <laughs>
So we're just coming up to this big mound here, as you can see in the back. Once you see that, you're pretty much almost there. at the surprisingly empty Buckstones jump. Despite being one of the most popular, easy to get to spot, where a family of five, three kids, took away 40 minutes in total to hike here. Absolutely lush, can't wait to get in. Right, so I'll see one thing. It's not as bad as I expected, but secondly, it's so cold it bites. I've got my wetsuit, like I'm probably going to hide that on when I go in. But uh, I'm going to have a little dip without it first, just to test it out. Damn, that's cold. Time for the wetsuit for sure. Whoa, here comes the brave little Aurora. Freezing, in it? Now this is the top here, yeah. apparently you can slide doing this but in this water temperature today I didn't fancy dunking the heat straight in like If I remember rightly from last time at the bottom it's about 8 to 10 foot deep But it, uh, it gets shallower very quickly towards the centre
check out that view behind us. This is what living means to me. I live for this shit. I have been in a few times like, but uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna let the sun warm the water up a little bit. Give it an hour. Cause it was down to minus one last night. So pretty much ice cube water. best spot. Got a beautiful sprinkling waterfall on one side, nice little swimming pool. On the other side, got a nice tranquil little stream. Oh. Absolutely lush. I'm just going to chill you for a bit. <laughs> 